More than 100 years ago, London and Paris gave the world the concept of twin cities. From January 2020 to now, a pair of cities have become the focus of attention in China, namely Chengdu and Chongqing. As the two cities are jointly building an economic circle in the region of Chengdu and Chongqing, a very interesting phenomenon has emerged in the past two years. Some famous consumer attractions in Chengdu and Chongqing have been grouped into CP by words with Chinese characteristics, such as Bao Li Bao Qi combination, Xinhua Lu Fang combination, Huan Hong Da Liang combination. A two hour conception circle has gradually formed between Chengdu and Chongqing. Hi everyone, my name is Nicolas. I am from France and I have been living in Chengdu for more than 10 years now. How do we enjoy the two hours conception circle between Chengdu and Chongqing? Well, today we choose the CP of Quanzhai Alley and Hongya Cave. Yes, we will go to Chongqing today, but first let me take you to Quanzhai Alley. Let's go. We are now at the west entrance of the Quanzhai Alley, and on this wall behind me, you can learn more about the history of Chengdu, tracing back to more than 4,000 years ago. Let's have a look at this part of the wall. So during the Qing Dynasty, more than 2,300 years ago, Zhang Yi built the two city walls, the big city wall and the small city wall where we are here. And then a lot of time passed by, and during the Qing Dynasty, and the Manchu, they came from the north and they rebuilt the small city wall, the Quanzhai Alley. It's basically a Qing Dynasty architecture, where they used to live in courtyard dwellings. The courtyard here used to be the residence of nobles, literatures, etc. Zhang Caixin, a painter from Chongqing, Jiangjin, once lived in Quanzhai Alley too. In 2008, Without changing the pattern and architectural form of the three parallel alleys, Chengdu created its own historical and cultural city card, Quanzhai Alley. There are so many different snacks here in Chengdu and I've heard that the snacks from Chongqing are a little bit different so we will check that out this afternoon. But for now, after, after having eaten so many snacks, I really need a cup of refreshing tea. Hmm, okay, this place looks nice. Hello 有一个比较有钱人家的一个大家闺秀这个地方挺漂亮的印象中的宽巷子清新典雅性格内敛雨露还藏眼前的宽巷子犹如一个光彩亮丽美轮美幻性格张扬的时髦女郎也许这个时代就需要她这个样子。When we talk about the Chengdu lifestyle, it is a slower pace of life, which pursue quality of life. Forget about all the worries and the stress in their life. That's why when you heard about the Chengdu lifestyle, there is one word that can precisely describe it, delicate. Thousands of years later, the history of slow life can still be traced in Quanzhai Alley. Ooh. Ooh.
The slow pace reflects the pursuit of a high quality lifestyle. Life here in Chengdu is somewhat like in the south of France, when people love to take time and enjoy the sun, the scenery, the food and the people. People in Chengdu love to pursue refinement and connotation to improve taste and quality. If the three parallel streets of Quanzhai Alley tell the historical story of Chengdu, people living in the 42 streets and alleys shaped like a fishbone in Shaocheng are continuing their leisure life for thousands of years in a modern way. There, the exquisite life is full of the hustle and bustle of the city life. So now we are in uh, Kuishinglo Street. Kuishinglo Street is just behind Quanzhai Alley. It might be not very known from the tourists, but it's very famous among the local people. Because in Kuishinglo Street you can find two stuff. One in is culture. And the second stuff is a lot of uh, very good restaurants. Cultural creation. Food. Rock and roll. Daily life. Shaocheng's quiet life carries all the creative ideas of the new generation. Here, youth and years are appreciating each other. So now it's lunch time and my Chengdu friends recommend me that restaurant. They say the food here will make my eyes light up. So now all of our dishes are here and as you can see they are presented in a very special way which is very delicate. We have some uh, fish still burning here and uh, here we have like two trees huh? and on that tree we have a bird nest made of corn and inside we have some fried meat which comes from the center of the chicken palm and on that tree they are made of uh, sticky rice, uh, cane sugar and with some sesame on it and here we have some shrimps if you like the spicy one, then you hit the here. But if you want more sour flavor, then you put the shrimp in that part. So as you can see, there are many different tastes in Sichuan cuisine, and also different combination of all these different flavor. So don't misunderstand, Sichuan cuisine has a lot of different flavors, not just only spice. And then, mmm, very nice. So now I have finished my lunch and it's time for us to go to the next part of our one day trip. I first need to take the subway line 2 to the East Railway Station where I will take a train to our next stop Chongqing Hongyakhe. Let's go! Okay, the train is arriving now. Let's go! So now we arrive at Chengdu East Railway Station. Oh, it's okay. Yay! I have been living in Chengdu for 13 years now, so I'm pretty familiar with all the places. But Chongqing, I just went once or twice many years ago, so I'm not familiar at all. Dear passengers, the train will arrive at Chongqing Bay Station. Okay, so now we just arrived at Chongqing, and I checked the map. So to go to the Hongya Cave, we have to take the subway line six. Oh. I think maybe this might be Hongya Cave. Can you see it? Okay, so now we are out from the subway. So let me sum up how long it took us to come here. First, from Quanzhai Alley to Chengdu railway station, it took us half an hour. From Chengdu to Chongqing, one hour. And then when we arrived at the Chongqing railway station, it took us again half an hour of subway to come here. So in total it's two hours. So you see, it's very close. You can really do the trip during the same day. And now from here to the Hongya Cave, it's only 10 minutes walking. So we are very close. So after 10 minutes walking from the subway station, we arrived at 
Honya Cave. And you can see Honya Cave is very different from the buildings around. It's more like ancient, traditional, wooden, stilted building. Very interesting. Let's have a closer look. As Chengdu is a huge plain, the courtyard-style buildings in western Sichuan are very consistent with the land form of Chengdu. So Quanzhai Alley is a horizontally tiled block. But in Chongqing, such a mountain city, the block can only extend vertically. So the stilt buildings naturally became the most suitable buildings to grow on the rock walls. By the 1930s and 40s, the layers of stilt buildings covered the whole cliff. Wow, it looks like the building is built on the cliff. And this guy here looks he has a walking badge, so I will ask him. Hello,你好,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好。Hello,你好
And you see you have different elements here and they are all symbolizing the, the friendship between Chongqing and Chengdu. For example, Cheng Yu Yi Jia Qin, Quan Hong Da Liang. We already have talked about this. And here, Quan Zhai Xiangzi, uh, Chun Xi Lu is famous name from Chengdu. And maybe it's because Chongqing and Chengdu, they are so close from one another. So I think that the memories that you can have from the 80s are also the same. And now it's time for the happiest part of the trip. And this is a traditional Chongqing hot pot. It's called uh, Jiu Gongge. If you don't have lattices, then your food will be swimming all around the pot. It is very hard to find it. With this kind of separation, oh, I know that all my food is here. Mmm, okay? But before to hit the hot pot, we need to mix our condiments. So let's have a look. So traditionally, they just use the mashed garlic and the sesame oil. But as you can see, there are much more condiments available here, like in Chengdu. So what I mean is like because Chongqing and Chengdu, they are close together and they have a lot of exchanges. So maybe in the future, we'll see that different ways of eating hot pots merge together to, into a new way. Okay, so my tofu is ready. Hmm. Hmm. So from this trip, we have learned that the cuisine from Chengdu is more delicate and the cuisine from Chongqing is more spicy and more hearty. And I just learned a phrase in Chongqing dialect. Oh! As you can feel, within a two hours conference circle, Chengdu and Chongqing have different lifestyles. Chengdu is like a quiet lady, enjoying a pretty bourgeoisie and exquisite life. Chongqing is more like a hot young girl, one only wielding enthusiasm and enjoying a happy life. Which kind of lifestyle do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section. See you next time.